actually not bad. I can feel myself coming to life already. It looks more like tea than it does coffee. I got woken up this morning at like 6 a.m. by the loudest lightning strike I've ever heard. I have to hide my bread in the cupboards because my cats are fiends and they will eat my bread. So rude. Mm, I'm not even awake. I wish I was, but I'm not. I need to turn these off. I actually have to move swiftly. It's already seven. No, it's not. That has to be a lie. It's 7.30 and we're gonna make ourselves some free shavakadu toast. Got out a pan. This is actually the first time I'm cooking. Severe thunderstorm warning for Nashville until 8 a.m. I didn't know that I was giving up hurricanes for thunderstorms. We have to heat up Mrs. Pan over here. I don't know if you remember, but I paid for one of those ridiculously expensive Smeg toasters because it was cute. Lesson learned. I didn't even have it for a year and it already doesn't work anymore. How do you know what's the perfect slice? This is the one I'm using. So for this, we're just gonna go like, boom, toast. Duncan wants to go outside, but it's pouring rain and he won't go to the bathroom outside if it's raining. I keep opening the door to let him go outside. And he just looks at me like, mom, like, what do you expect me to do in this situation? Do you guys remember when I was too afraid to eat avocados? Looks good enough to me. We don't want this part. Thank you. Any parts that look brown just freak me out, so we're not gonna eat those. Can you guys hear that, or is the mic blocking it out? I'm very much a texture person, and the texture of avocado is what always has freaked me out, and its lack of flavor. I now understand, I now have matured enough to understand that you have to season the avocado. I don't think hot sauce counts as seasoning things. We are gonna add hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking up little cheese flakes and putting it in. That's right. I am a chef now. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. Fancy stuff. Look at this. Cleaning up as we go. Have I even said good morning yet? If I haven't, good morning. Did I say that was good before? Ugh. Gonna stick with what we know won't let us down. Consistent, reliable caffeine. I don't know if my anxiety is radiating off of me and like through the screen and you guys can feel it, but I hate thunderstorms. And apparently we get really bad ones here. And apparently there's tornadoes here in Nashville. So that's fun too. I really hope this rain stops because I have to drive to a hair appointment. My appointment's at 9 a.m. Do you get ready for your hair appointments or do you just show up looking pretty rough? I would say most of the time I go in looking really rough. Today is definitely one of those days. I cannot be bothered to get ready right now. I just drove through the most rain. No, it's not the most rain I've ever driven through. It was a lot. I will never understand why roads aren't built to irrigate the rain. Like if you know it rains so much, like in Florida, it rains all the time, but the roads flood like that. These girls look very sweet and I'm hoping for the best, but socializing is just so hard. Up. I'd rather not go inside because I'm gonna have to talk to new people. This is where it is. Hold on. <gasps> There's lightning and I'm holding an umbrella. That is just a disaster waiting to happen. people for hair, finding new like nail techs, your usual stuff. When you move to a new place, you have to find all new people. I don't know if you remember or if you paid attention at all to where I got my hair done in Tampa, but I went to the best girl ever. Her name is Erin. She does hand tied extensions so well. They last forever. We haven't even touched my extensions. She just touched up my color, brightened everything up. The girl who did my hair today actually reached out to me on Instagram, like asking if she could do my hair. I think I have the best luck when it comes to hair people because everyone is so much fun to 
to be around. I was so nervous because like socializing, you know me, I'm not the best at socializing or like talking in general. Haley and Logan were so fun. If you're in Nashville and you need a good place to get your hair done, Logan, her assistant does extensions. They just opened their own little salon it's called Halo Salon Nashville, I believe. I'll have the salon information and Haley's information down below. Getting my blonde back has been probably the longest process of my life and I've definitely fried my hair in the process. I dyed my hair brown. I highly recommend never doing that if you ever want to be blonde again. I acted on an intrusive thought and I dyed my hair brown. Here we are over a year later. I don't know how I could be any blonder than this. I feel like I never give you guys the animal content you deserve because for some reason I feel like you don't care about my animals but there's no way this is not the content you want. They follow me around everywhere recently. I've been laying here being a potato and they just be potatoes with me. I'm gonna go downstairs and I guarantee you they follow me. You're looking over my shoulder for me. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. <laughs> I'm hungry. I've been on a Caesar salad kick. That's what we're making right now. Ooh. If I'm at a restaurant and there's a Caesar salad, I don't care if I already am full, I'm ordering the Caesar salad and eating it. When I die, bury me in Caesar salad. Fill my casket with Caesar salad dressing and let me drown. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I have a vendetta against full-size salad leaves and this one's pre-chopped, so. Everything is better with cheese. I got this cheese at Trader Joe's and I've been putting it on everything, which is probably not good. There could be worse things. I could be a drug addict and instead I'm eating cheese. We all have our own vices. Mm-hmm. This is good shit. The cheese is good too. <sighs> Water. Pomegranate seeds are so hit or miss. They either taste lovely or they taste like alcohol. Good pomegranate. DoorDash is so dangerous, especially being in a the house. They drop it at your front door and then you have whatever you want. In my apartment, I had to walk downstairs and grab it from the person, which if you have social anxiety is a big deterrent. Like I didn't want to order food with DoorDash because I didn't want to have to see another human being. Now they'll leave it at my door and I never have to see anyone or say hi to anyone or look at someone's eyeballs. So it takes a little bit more self-control. Also DoorDash is so expensive. I haven't let myself open my bank account in the past like week and a half because I don't want to have to look at how much money I've spent on DoorDash. Dash. These are good. Look, I bought an eggplant. I've never had an eggplant before or held an eggplant. Also, if you haven't tried this tangerine juice from Trader Joe's, it is so good. Home cooked meal. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo. Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures So again, there's nothing Oh, there's nothing here I don't know if I should be freaked out or not. My phone is almost dead and I'll take any excuse to lay down. Duncan was sitting up by me, like up here, and he ran to the foot of my bed and then just started barking at the hallway, like staring at something in the hallway, just barking. Uh, that is not correct. You're freaking me out. I just moved in, okay? You can't scare me this early. And he's still at the foot of the bed, just looking. What do you see that I don't see? <laughs> I scared you. I've been vlogging a lot, but not editing the videos, which makes no sense. So that's actually all I have for this video. I'm gonna throw in clips that I got at this coffee shop that me and Samantha went to. I think it's called Matryoshka Coffee, but they have this Cuban confetti latte that me and her went and got. We had seen it on TikTok, I don't know from who. It was fabulous. So if you are in the Nashville area, I recommend you go there. It is cute, the coffee was fantastic. Over
overall nine and a half out of ten i'm saving my ten out of ten for something fantastic i'm not really sure what yet you're gonna see that and then i'm gonna leave you alone for the rest of the day i promise seen you in a movie i heard you in a song now i know that this will never go wrong like you already knew me that's why we get along yeah i know that this will never go Talk in the dark, oh god, there's something about the sound of you is stuck in